Welcome to episode 65 of the BCF ORG podcast, The Business of Business. I'm Brian Fisher. In the previous episode, 64, our guest was Sean Shuchek discussing high performance leadership. This podcast series focuses on the various subjects and topics to help you run a successful, profitable business. They're approximately 10 to 15 minutes long, so you can listen while commuting. Hopefully, you'll find one or two takeaways to implement per episode. Today's episode discusses beating procrastination. Our guest is Wendy Lindahl, Director of Sales for Chiral Skin Care, who is based out of Scottsdale, Arizona. Wendy Lindahl has been in the beauty and sales industry for over 20 years, starting her career at Avon Products. As a corporate leader, Wendy led a sales force that generated more than $100 million in revenue in a single year. She has dedicated her career to helping others find success and fulfillment in this dynamic industry and achieve bigger personal goals individually and in the team. Wendy believes that the right mindset comes first before tactics. Let's welcome Wendy Lindahl. Wendy, welcome to the BCF ORG podcast, the business of business. Oh my gosh, thanks for having me. Well, thanks for joining us today. Wendy, I'm always interested in people's stories. What's your background in becoming the director of sales at Chiral and a business consultant? Well, I'm going to say I have been in the direct selling business, which I love to call the people business, for over 20 years. Uh, I started way back when. I'm sure everyone has heard the name uh, Avon Products uh, and started there and have just had an incredible opportunity. I think it's an industry that is human-based, and that's something I'm very passionate about and have continued on this journey all the way through here. So I think it's the motivational coaching piece that has has brought me so much joy over the years. Before we get on to today's topic, beating procrastination, how have you helped build sales and teamwork? I, you know, I like to feel that I have the gift that I bring to the world is to identifying and help people identifying what their superpowers are. I love to say we all have our superpowers, our strengths that really help guide us in our journey, whether that is uh, through a career or through our families or the things that we're passionate about. And so I really feel that, you know, having that skill set has allowed me to be able to help people to identify where they can grow and how they can become better. And along the way, I think I teach myself to do the same. You know, as we work with individuals to to understand their lives, we have to be introspective of our own. And so it's a great cycle to be in. And it's helped me to be uh, a stronger support in the in the roles that I've been able to have. But I got to ask, does superpowers come with a cape? You know, superpowers don't, but you know what? I wish they did. I would love to pass out capes all day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, procrastination or kicking the can down the road can absolutely hold a business back. Uh, how do you help people and organizations beat procrastination? I think what really where it really starts is identifying what we're doing while we're procrastinating, if that makes sense. Let me use an example of, you know, if we're we're strolling through social media for an hour and a half during the day, that's kind of putting all of the the things that you need to do to be successful or to get the roles done. And so you really, it's about being intentional of understanding our behaviors. Again, I fall prey to that as well. I'm, I'm just like everyone else, but it's really about recognizing when we're spending too much time on the non-productive things versus the productive things. And once we start to understand our own behaviors, it's easier to stop them. It's easier to become more productive because I want everyone to find efficiency in their world because then you have more time to do the things that you love to do. But if you're constantly putting those needed to be done tasks aside, you're never going to reach your goal. You're never going to get to the place that you want to be. And so I really help people to identify behaviors and kind of what they're doing, those actions that they're taking. We're speaking with Wendy Lindahl, Director of Sales at Chiral. Wendy, how can you achieve your personal and professional goals faster? I believe it really comes down to having your own sense of accountability 
I have worked from home primarily for the last 20 plus years. And so it requires a lot of accountability. It requires you to do the important things first, even though maybe you want to do that laundry that's sitting there or cleaning the dishes, but understanding that, you know what, again, I have to do my value adds first. And I really think it comes down to organizing my time and understanding the value of my time. I really try to not only myself, but help people to manage their time better because we all know this, you can do a lot more in an hour that's uninterrupted and focused than we can do in an entire day when we're stuck in distractions and and other things that come up. I am a parent of two kids who are now adults, but I remember those days where it was chaotic and the kids were running and they were, you know, doing all of those things. When I could tell them this is the hour that mom has that I have to do my work and I could really help to coordinate how I work through my own time, it helps me to help others to be able to do the same. So really, it is time management that is is probably the most powerful tool. How do you implement effective team leadership strategies to create partnerships that will influence growth, efficiency, and outcomes? Oh, that is such a key focus of what I'm doing in my current role right now as a director of sales. I am a firm believer in the power of collaboration. You know, I talked about superpowers. And I believe when you bring, everyone has their own set of skills, their own set of knowledge, their own experiences that they bring to the table. So I'm really a proponent of collaboration and how we take ideas and bounce them off each other. I regularly open up calls to having that time to to brainstorm together, to see how do we overcome challenges? How do we enhance successes to be a little bit better? And I always say, I think we all love to believe we bring something magical to the table. But when you get a bunch of people around the table who are bringing their best Uh, to the conversation, you walk away with some really incredible strategies and ideas. And so I think that's really where the power is, is simply opening up and having everyone have a seat at the table. And that's where it's really helped me to find some of the greatest strategies that have been successful in in my career. Boy, that's for sure. The teamwork is a powerful thing. It is collaboration. And collaboration is fun. To me, I think we all grow through collaboration. It's like An avid reader always learns from something they read. I learn from every conversation that I have, and big or small, it can make the biggest impact. Sometimes it's the tiniest things that make the biggest impact in our day and in our life. We're speaking with Wendy Lindahl, Director of Sales at Chiral. Wendy, is there anything I've not asked that you'd like to add? I think I would just add that, you know, when we look at procrastination and success and how do we become more efficient? We all are in control of of our processes, right? It's systems and processes and things that we do each and every day and, and habits that create our success. But I think it's about having and practicing those skill sets every day of putting it into use and being intentional for a period of time until that action or that habit really becomes the the norm for you. And the more we sometimes kind of test ourselves and push our capabilities a little bit, the farther we go. And so it's kind of about keeping those in the in the back of our mind that, again, we control our narrative much more than we often give us credit for. <laughs> and so I always encourage people and I try to encourage myself to know that, you know what, I'm controlling that future success. Wendy, how can people get in contact with you? Oh, I'm easy to get a hold of. You can find me just by simply emailing me at Wendy at chiral.com. And again, that's Q-Y-R-A-L.com. Thank you for joining us today on the BCF ORG podcast, The Business of Business. Oh, thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. My sincere thanks to Wendy for joining us today. Managing the performance of your company is one of the most important things you do as a leader. This podcast is on over 20 directories. Subscribe or follow wherever you get your podcast. In search, type BCF-ORG. Be sure to leave a space between BCF and ORG. Feel free to share this podcast with people who you think may benefit. A strong rating of these podcasts would be appreciated. If you'd like to reach out to me with any questions, comments, ideas, or potentially be a guest like Wendy, 
please go to bcforg.com. There's a red Contact Us button in the middle of the homepage. A LinkedIn symbol is on the upper right. Click on that if you'd like to see my profile. All the podcasts are available by clicking on the website podcast page in the reference bar. These podcasts will be released the first and third Tuesday each month. In the next episode, 66, our guest will be Clint Ladine discussing maximizing performance. In business, running a successful, profitable business is the ultimate scorecard. You're never done and can always be better. It tends to be more fun than work, frustrating at times, but can be very rewarding. From BCF ORG Corp., I'm Brian Fisher, wishing you the best. Thanks. Thanks.